One tool that a lot of folks don't think about is Network Time Protocol, NTP. You can also use it to enumerate some information as well. Now, understanding what Network Time Protocol is, again, you should know this from previous classes from uh, Network Plus or from an Active Directory class. Network Time Protocol uh, is a protocol that machines use to synchronize their clocks. In Active Directory, every machine in the domain must synchronize its time within five minutes. There's a five minute time skew tolerance um, to the, well, it's, we, they don't have PDCs anymore. They don't have primary domain controllers, but the network time server. Uh, there's a um, Active Directory domain controller role called the PDC emulator that is basically the time source for the whole domain. Now, the machines can be in different time zones, that's okay, but they have to be synchronized, their, their GMT clocks have to be synchronized. Where NTP is useful is you can find out computer names by, by querying it, especially those main domain controllers. And if the clocks aren't synchronized, the machines can't log on, which means the user, users can't log on, and the servers can't function. So NTP, Network Time Protocol, synchronizes clocks. It uses UDP-123 as its main means of communication. It can synchronize to 10 milliseconds over the internet. And um, in a local area network, uh, the, the idea is the target is 200 milliseconds synchronization. We can query NTP for a list of hosts, including addresses, names, and operating systems. And um, if the NTP server happens to be in the, the DMZ, which is like a bozo no-no, uh, we could query it to find internal IP addresses. So I hope nobody sticks an NTP server in the DMZ. That would be very stupid. Um, Usually what companies do, or what they should do, is they will have a, in their internal network, an authoritative time source, which goes out to uh, like an atomic clock on the internet, or Boulder, Colorado, where the Naval, um, uh, uh, the Naval Observatory is, um, and any sort of authoritative time source out on the internet. There's, there's a handful of them. And it synchronizes to that. And then everything inside synchronizes to it. Otherwise, they can't log on. It's also super important to have time synchronized in logs between uh, routers and switches, because if you have a syslog server, which is like a central place for all the logs to collect up, they have to have synchronized clocks so that their log times, their log entries correlate. You don't want to be going, hmm, suspicious activity on this router, and then look over in this log and have the log be like several days off. So their, um, their clocks need to be synchronized that way as well for cross-correlation, especially when you use automated tools to go searching logs for suspicious activity. So this is the value of using NTP for enumeration. There are some NTP commands like NTP trace. We can look at all the NTP servers back to the original source because NTP can be hierarchical. The original source on the internet and then um, uh, like the, your primary NTP server here and then your NTP server at a location. So you can trace back the whole chain. Uh, NTPDC, uh, we can see who is the um, NT uh, source, the NT um, uh, service source, uh, NTP queue, uh, so we can see operations of the NTP service. There are a bunch of NTP enumeration tools. Here's just one NTP time server. Uh, so there's NTP server scanner, even Nmap, Wireshark, AtomSync, NTP query, just a bunch of these uh, will query um, NTP for us. So that's using network time protocol for enumeration.